All right, so here's a little update on the 40 watt build that I made uh, a few months back. So I haven't changed too much. Uh, the main thing is that I did do what I said I was gonna do and I got a water chiller, an actual one. So here's a, a water reservoir and technically I'm running uh, RV coolant. Uh, so it doesn't grow gunk inside and whatnot. Um, and I've been doing that with this machine over here for years and everything works fine. Um, so that's on a constant loop going back and forth and I can turn it on using that red button. Um, and then uh, whenever I want to run the machine, I can either uh, turn on the water itself, which then will make that go. And it tells me the temperatures in Fahrenheit and Celsius. Um, or whenever I start a job, this will automatically turn on. So that's number one. And then number two would be, uh, I've been working on this screen. Um, the system has technically three, the main tablet, two and three screens. They're all touch screens. I don't need them. I just did it because I could. And I've been trying to figure out uh, or find out ways that I can actually use them uh, properly. So the one idea that I had come up with uh, from the beginning was to use this as a stream deck. Um, there's a whole bunch of macro buttons that I can use to control the machine itself or the software or whatever. And so I've been looking for solutions and there's not really, or at least I haven't found a straightforward way of doing it on a PC. Uh, most programs run from PC to Android or, or iOS. So I had to do, go with that method. So I, I installed a program called Bluestacks, which is a, um, an Android emulator for the PC. And then there I was able to install this software, which is called Touch Portal. And I have it also on the computer. So technically right now it's set up. It is a bit buggy just because of the fact that I'm not using an actual Android device, uh, but it still works. I'll, I'll figure out something else in the future. But let's say I wanted to do something like home the machine. I could just obviously do it over here in the software or I could just go here. Now there is a slight input delay But that's this way I can run most programs. I can, and I'm I'm messing around with the with the layout. I can start a job, uh, change different parameters. For example, let's see, my power right now is at twenty percent max. So if I go over here and I click on uh, power, and let's say I wanted to set it for <clears throat> sixty percent, then I can just touch here, and then some max power 60 percent so i can create a lot of shortcuts um and it's gonna greatly improve everything for me so next year i might look for a different solution maybe actually getting a tablet or finding something that's strictly pc based for for right now everything works